Liverman is following all of this in New York. Mark, this storm is causing a nightmare for many post-holiday travelers. It really is, Wendy. Good morning. Yeah, this fast-moving winter storm caused major localized flooding on roads and freeway lanes in other parts of California. Snow led to multiple traffic accidents. One town at the eastern end of the San Gabriel Mountains got up to 25 inches of snow by midday. It was a winter wonderland for kids in Southern California. I love the snow. I feel like it's a Christmas miracle. But for holiday travel, snow and ice wreaked havoc in the mountains north of Los Angeles. And once we got here, we started seeing the little snow start coming in. Boom, stop. Dangerous conditions forced part of Interstate 15, the main road to Las Vegas, to shut down. They're not going to let us up? Stuck in there six and a half hours. On the other side of the closure, people trying to get out of Vegas simply turned around. The snow, they were asking for chains and stuff I heard in line. So we decided we're turning around and going back to Las Vegas. Back in Southern California, drivers were caught off guard when Interstate 5 also shut down. It's not like there's any signage. It's just suddenly everybody's getting off of here and there's no instruction on what to do. The snow is expected to move east over the next few days. But yesterday was a completely different story in the Midwest. Some cities saw record high temperatures. This is the warmest it's ever been for us. <laughs> Skiers on Michigan's Mount Holly were out in t-shirts. The resort is using man-made snow for now. Hard pressed to be able to tell the difference, quite honestly. If you pick it up, it packs like a snowball. It acts like a snowball. It skis like a snowball. Up to a foot and a half of snow could fall on parts of the Rocky Mountains over the next two days. And at least one death has been linked to the storm so far. In San Diego County, a 60-year-old woman died when a car veered off a snowy road. A truck driver on Interstate 5 was found dead in his rig, but it's not known if the cause was weather-related. Wendy? Mark Leverman in New York. Mark, thanks.